One, two, one, two, three. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a spectacular day. Today's video is gonna be a glow up. I feel like I've been seeing this. I don't know if it's a trend or just like, I don't know, but I've been seeing it all over Instagram and TikTok and social media to like do a glow up. Some people are doing like a long glow up. I have so much going on that I don't, can't, I can't commit to a really long glow up. So we're just gonna do a one day glow up. And that is going to consist of laundry. We're gonna get our life together. We're gonna do laundry. I'm gonna set up my daily grand planner for the month of October because we are now in October. I am going to color my grays because I don't want gray hair and also I don't have time slash can't afford to go get my hair done. So we're gonna color our grays. We're gonna do an everything shower. We're gonna do our skincare. We are going to, I think I have a list, but we're gonna do a glow up today and you're gonna join me because this will be your motivation and my motivation together to get our life together. Um, I'm working seven days a week, <laughs> which is, a lot, uh, finishing my internship. So internships Monday, Tuesday, seeing clients all day, and then working Philharmonic Wednesday through Sunday. Um, so it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. So we're gonna do a glow up. Thank you all for being here. Click that subscribe button because it'll really support my channel. And we are going to start the glow up today with some laundry. There's not, like there's nothing more satisfying than like cleaning your clothes, am I right? Do you agree or do you disagree? <laughs> Let's go get our laundry basket. I'm not kidding when I said the laundry has piled up. <laughs> okay, number one load of laundry is in. I had to separate it into two loads. I'm gonna change because it is so hot and I'm in a long sleeve shirt. And I think next we're gonna do our daily grind and set up for the month of October, set up our goals. I lied, we're gonna do the daily grind planner in a second. But step two of the glow up is going to be a healthy snack. I've been trying to, John and I have been trying to like eat better and like focus on what we're eating, protein and all of that kind of stuff. So my go-to snack lately has been either frozen grapes or apples with peanut butter. And I get the peanut butter from Trader Joe's, which is so good. So good, so let's get an apple and some peanut butter. Hi, bunny. So this is the creamy Noster peanut butter from Trader Joe's. I usually get the crunchy, but they didn't have it, so cream it is today. So I got my plate of apples and then we just went to Trader Joe's yesterday. So this is a new beautiful can of peanut butter. Comment down below, do you like almond butter or peanut butter? I can't open it. Stab it. I just like always go back to peanut butter. I never like jumped on the almond butter trend. Hi baby, he loves peanut butter too. And then I just take a knife and um, smudge it onto my plate and then I kind of dip the apples in the peanut butter. And that's my snack. So I'm gonna enjoy this. I did just get home from sessions with clients. Um, so I'm going to just relax and eat this, have a moment to myself while I eat. And then we will do our daily grind planner month of October together. Okay, what are we on? Number three of the glow up is our daily grind planner. So listen, Angie and Andre, they're a husband and wife, they, their launches, like their companies are just continuing to like, and I am always so inspired and motivated by them. Um, so I've been doing the daily grind. I guess it's going on like almost a, a full year or more than a full year. Um, so their planner system, it's a four month planner. So you would do three for the year, right? And I started doing this last year. You can go watch, I'll link my other videos. Um, because I felt like I had all these things that I wanted to do, but I wasn't making any effort to like actually make them happen, right? Like you can wish and dream about your goals and your accomplishments and your dreams of like, I wanna do all these things. But in reality, like you have to put in the work to do them, right? Like you have to take initiative, you have to take action. 
uh, to be able to do them. And I felt like I just wasn't holding myself accountable or I wasn't taking action. And so the one thing that this gives me is like accountability. Like I can set this up and look at it and it, and I don't, you know, obviously sometimes you don't meet your goals daily. Like sometimes you miss or you skip or, you know, things come up, but it, it holds you accountable in the long run of like what you're looking to accomplish. And so I just, I find it really helpful and their like designs keep getting better and better. So they change the design and it is a like removable. So you can like remove the pages, um, which is really cool. And they have launched like divider tabs and stickers. Um, oh, where are the stickers? I've been using them all, but they've launched stickers and they're like seasonal launches. And so obviously it's October. So we have our amazing Halloween cover. So this is actually like a picture she took and then she kind of like made it like a graphic. So this says pumpkins and there's a little Disney pumpkin in there with all the fall vibes on the front and on the back it says it's a full moon tonight and all the weirdos are out and then it's got the Daily Grind logo which is so fun. Um, so I have had this cover for September um, and so now we're gonna like make it really spooky with August. They have a not so scary Halloween list movie list in the front that you can do and then also on the back there is a autumn creativity challenge. So on the inside cover, each time they launch a cover, um, they come up with new things, which is awesome. Um, new that they have launched as well with all the new covers are divider tabs. So here's one, uh, it's like a tiered tray, which she's known for. Um, this one is like trick or treat, which is like a pumpkin mug. This one is Hocus Pocus doormat. And this one is like a spooky latte. And then also there are stickers that you can customize what your like tabs are gonna be. So right now mine is this month, habits, daily, and finances. Again, they've launched so many things. So she's launched a habit tracker. So there's a, happing, a habit tracker challenge to track your habits for the month. So I'll, this is from September, um, but it just shows you like what changes or like what knocks you off your healthy habits right so like something that i've learned about myself is like i am severely um encouraged by the weather like if the weather is bad i don't want to do anything um also my habits change in, in terms of sleep so sleep and weather really affect like how functional i am i guess and that's something that i learned by using this habit tracker also andre her husband launched a finance tracker, a budget challenge tracker, which is so helpful to see like what you're spending in which categories and that kind of stuff. And like a big, excuse me, I'm hiccuping. A big goal of mine is to um, save money, right? And to not be spending money on things that I don't need. Um, so I, in September, also did the budget tracking challenge as well. So all of this is available on their website. I'll leave the link in the description box below and I'm so grateful and honored to be partnered with The Daily Grind. Um, and my discount code is EMILYJEAN10 if you wanna discount on all of your things. They also launched um, highlighters, pens. She also just launched candles. They're starting, it's called The Daily Home um, so that you can light your candle in the morning and start your routine off with a bang. So it's just, they're just really great and I'm really honored to be partnered with them. But all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and set up my planner for the month. Let me just show you. I've done a lot of like full plans. I'm not gonna show you like the whole plan with me. If you wanna go check some of these out, you can. But um, so I'm just gonna show you like an example. So this is what the month ahead page looks like. Also, I love that you can just rip it out. So you set up your month and then you set up your top 10 goals. And then every day you make steps right towards hitting those goals. And obviously you won't hit those goals every month. Some of my goals are like long-term goals and some of my goals are um, month to month goals. And that just depends on what you're wanting to accomplish. Um, I'll just give you an example of like some of the things that I'm working on. I am taking my uh, counseling state license test in November. So my goal is just the NCE exam. And then every day I am gonna dedicate a certain amount of time to studying um, my internship. So completing my internship and getting those hours done. I have class for grad school every week. So completing class and getting my homework done. Two of my goals were no takeout. So I'm trying to not spend money by ordering Grubhub and also no spending. So only essential spending. Um, YouTube, so filming shorts and videos for my YouTube channel. Um, read daily because I have a year goal of reading 30 books for the year, which um, you guys, I've actually already accomplished. 
So this is my, I made this, this is my little book tracker. I've already read 30 books for the year and um, plot twist, I'm like, I've read 45 books because the Kindle, if there's one thing that I would say it's worth buying and I was skeptical for years, the Kindle, I've never read so many books faster. I love my Kindle. I love my Kindle so much. So yeah, that, I mean, I just wanna continue to read. I like reading and I read on the trains. Um, planner daily, so making sure I am holding myself accountable to doing my planner. Me time, and so that, I, a lot of my goals like in the previous months have been like gym, gym, gym. But right now I just don't have time to like dedicate like actual time to the gym just just right now and I, I hope to change that but so me time can include going for a walk taking the dog out going to the gym but I'm not going to like set myself up for failure by trying to commit to certain hours in the gym just because I work seven days a week until January and that's just what my life is going to be like till January and then I can reassess my goals and then my goal this was again September 10k steps a day so um, yeah, and then you can put in like important dates, uh, must do's, and then you can like decorate it with all these stickers, which is so fun. Last year during this time, I was doing a lot of stenciling, so it's fun that they do seasonal launches with stickers. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up my planner for the month of October and get all set. I am a couple of days late, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so this is part of my glow up. I'm gonna set this all up and then I think I wanted to color my hair. I want to do my nails. Um, what else did I want to do? Oh, I have to change out my laundry. So I'm gonna get this done and we'll see what part of the glow up is gonna be next after I finish my daily grind planner setup for the month of October. Okay, I don't know what step we're at, but we're gonna do my hair. I haven't dyed my own hair in a very long time. I was using Overtone for a while. Do you guys know that? It's like not permanent, but she's got gray, so. This is gonna make me feel better. I'm trying this brand, Clarial, Clarol Natural Instincts. It's like a uh, warm brown for winter, summer. Okay, hold on, I need to read. I don't know what I'm doing. Gotta put the gloves on. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I feel like brown hair is semi easier because brown is brown. All right, now it says to Imagine if I squirted this all over me. <laughs> Dear Lord. All right, we're just gonna go. I'm gonna get, oh, I gotta do this over the sink. <laughs> just gonna do my whole head. Mostly just concerned with the grays that are right up at the front. And now we wait 20 minutes. Timer has started. Let's, I think we can do our nails in 20 minutes. Shall we do a manicure? Let me show you the manicure set that I have for at home nails. I've been like hanging out in the kitchen more than my office. It's a new change of scenery, huh? Okay, so this is the nail kit that I bought when I got engaged. <laughs> so I didn't have to spend money on doing my nails. It's Beatles, it's on Amazon. I can link it down below. Um, it's a gel kit. I haven't done my nails since the honeymoon to kind of like let them heal. But with this kit, it comes with like all the nail stuff to make your nails pretty. And then it comes with like a whole bunch of different colors. And so it's fall. So I'm feeling like maybe like a maroon or a brown. Maroon, brown, it's purple. I'm feeling like I've been feeling like this red lately. So we're gonna do this maroony brown color. And then it comes with a top coat and the base gel. Yep, so you have your top gel and you have your base gel and then you just cure it. So we're gonna sit here and do our nails. Join me if you have an at-home nail kit. Um, I don't really do anything crazy. I'll file them like a little bit and then um, just push the cuticles back. Okay, I'm all done with my nails. I changed the color. Um, I was gonna do red, but I saw this like brownie orange color. I don't know if you can see, but it just feels more fall to me. I feel like red is more like Christmassy November. 
So I think they turned out really well. So I just did a base coat, one layer of the color, and then the top coat. And then in the kit that you get, they send you like cuticle oil. Let me see where it is. Yeah, so they send you this cuticle oil. So I just put that on as like a topper to kind of lock it all in. And then these should be good for like two weeks, which is really nice. Um, so much. <laughs> less expensive than going to the salon. Now, granted, listen, I love getting my nails done, but I don't, I don't have time or the money. So this is a really good solution. Again, I'll leave the um, link to this below. I bought it on Amazon a couple of years ago, but this is done. My timer just went off for my hair, so I'm gonna go wash my hair out and we'll see how the color came out when I blow dry it. So for now, I just rinsed out the color. They did give me this Brilliant Shine color conditioner, but I'm gonna take like a big shower after my class tonight. I have grad school class virtually. So I'm gonna wait to like shampoo my hair, put this color conditioner in, and then we'll see how the color turns out when I get out of the shower this evening. So that's on the docket full everything shower i'll show you all the products that i'm using and then a big skincare glow up routine uh coming after i finish class all right i have finished with class and my hair is kind of dried let me give it a brush through the color really isn't much different um it was a more of a warm toned box color um but it kind of just looks like my natural brown i wouldn't say it's warmer it's also not black but i don't know if you can see the grays covered nicely. So I'm um, really happy. I am gonna shower to like, cause I haven't washed my hair. So I'm gonna wash it and do that color conditioner. Um, and I'm also gonna do my quote unquote everything shower. So I'm gonna wash my hair, condition my hair, shave, exfoliate, um, all of the, the good stuff. Let me show you the stuff that I use in the shower. So I've been using the Pureology um, hair shampoo and conditioner and I found I used to have a lot of really like a lot of hair fallout um, and this it's the strength cure this is the third bottle like the third time I have bought it and I, I really like this I feel like my hair is really thick and healthy by using these um, for my body I've been using the method body wash it's coconut rice milk and shea butter I like this better I was using native but I was getting kind of like not eczema but like bumps on my skin um, and I don't have those bumps on my skin. So I really like the method body wash and I like the pump one. I'll do the Coco and Eve hair mask like once a week. It's my favorite. It smells so good. And I like to even use it in the winter because it like reminds you of the summertime, but it smells unbelievable. What is it? Hair, fig, coconut and fig. Love that. I'm not really like picky about my shaving cream. I picked up, this is the Pure Silk Vanilla Shea Butter because um, it kind of matches the coconut and shea butter in the body wash. Um, I also bought this at the Sephora sale last year and I use it like once a month. This is the Briogeo Scalp Revival. It's like a uh, exfoliating scrub for your scalp. Um, Cause I think that's really helpful cause I get like really dry scalp. So this is helpful like once a month. And then I do wash my face in the shower. I've been using the Drunk Elephant what is this called? Face wash. I've been using the Drunk Elephant face wash. This is my second time buying it. It's good. I, I'm i not breaking out from it. Um, I like a cleanser that really soaps up. and I mean, it soaps up, but I would say like it's, it's a little expensive, but this is the cleanser that I use in the shower. So I'm going to jump the shower um, and then I'm going to come out and do the rest of my skincare and I'll show you all the products that I've been using for my skincare. Glow up. Uh, uh, glow up. <laughs> There's nothing better than coming out of the shower. I feel like whenever I'm not feeling well or like when life gets too stressful, I just need to take a shower and everything is better. Yeah, so the hair color looks good. I'm gonna do a blow dry. Um, but let me finish up my skincare and show you what I've been using. I'm actually running out of everything and I think it's so expensive. So I'm kind of just gonna like use all this till I run out and then maybe I'll do a shop. Um, so I washed my face with the Drunk Elephant cleanser in the shower 
And then this I've purchased multiple times and it's the only thing, I don't know if you can tell, I have no makeup on or anything, but I used to have a lot of redness um, from like acne scars and the only thing that has worked is the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. Um, I've, I went without this for a lot, for like a multiple months. Um, and I noticed a difference in my skin. So if you have like dark spots from acne or scarring or anything like that, I highly recommend. I, I love all the Glow Recipe stuff. I actually bought at the like Sephora holiday sale or whatever, I bought like the kit, you could try everything. I love this. I love their watermelon, watermelon um, niacinamide dew drops, their um, hyaluronic acid. Like I love everything. Like honestly, I would just buy all of this. Glow Recipe, do you want to sponsor me? Um, so this I use daily and I actually, I know that you're supposed to use vitamin C in the morning, but I like to use it at night. Um, Kiehl's has been nice to send me a bunch of stuff and the one thing that has stuck in my regimen is their avocado eye treatment, which I really like. Also, I absolutely love their hyaluronic acid serum, but I'm out of it and I need to order more. Um, because I have tried several different hyaluronic acids and some of them like burn my skin and like cause me to be really dry, but the... Kiehl's one does not, so I really like that, but I'm out of that, so I have to go buy it. Something else that I've been trying, and I do this like, not all the time, it's the Glow Recipe um, BHA and uh, salicylic acid. So I'm not gonna do that tonight, but I do that some nights. I've just put this back into my, my skincare practice because I'm out of all my hyaluronic serums. This is the Caudalie Vino Perfect. This stuff is so expensive, and when I first started trying it, um, I was breaking out. Now, I don't know if I was breaking out because of stressors and life and all that stuff, um, but because I'm out of all my serums, I'm like, let me try this and see how we do. It feels amazing and it smells amazing. Um, so we'll see like in a week if I start to break out from it or not. And if I do, then we're gonna stop using it. Hold on, I gotta fix my towel. And then I've been using the Drunk Elephant Protein Cream. Um, I like it. I, again, I, I kind of judge everything by like, does it break me out and do, does it leave my skin feeling dry? And this does not. I am open to like experimenting with other moisturizers, but for now I bought the really big one of this. So I'm just going to use it until it runs out because it is not doing negative things to my skin. And then I stopped doing this after the wedding, but like from January to the wedding, I was gua sha every day and I I see a significant difference in my jawline now that I've stopped. So I use to do my gua sha, I use the Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil and I'm incorporating this back in to do this daily because you it just like drains everything. Also I find it like it helps with my sinuses um, and I have my gua sha. I like to make it cold so I put some water on it and um, just incorporating this back in. There's something like really nice about spending 10 minutes on yourself at night in the skincare. And this is like what I do daily. Um, obviously, like if I wanted to pamper myself, I would do a mask or do a hair mask or that kind of stuff. But um, right now, this is just kind of like the daily love that I'm giving myself. Oh, I feel so good. I definitely have like tension here and I feel like the gua sha is really nice and helpful to relieve that. Look at how good my nail color looks, by the way. Yeah, I was really um, good about doing this pre-wedding. <laughs> so I'm getting back into this practice. And that is my skincare routine. Oh, deodorant. I've been using the native deodorant. This is Eucalyptus and Mint. It's not my favorite. I like the lime flavor, um, but they were out. So that's the skincare routine. Then I'm gonna put some body lotion on. Again, I'm kind of just at a point where I'm like trying to use up all the stuff that I have. Um, this is the Sleepy Lotion from Lush. I love Lush's lotion, also because everything smells so good and there's like a purpose to it. Like this is, I use this to go to sleep. Oh, cause it smells like lavender. Oh my God, and it literally says sleepy. So I'm gonna lather my whole body in this. And then I'm gonna dry my hair. I think I've talked about this before. So if I'm gonna let my hair air dry, I use the JVN air dry cream, which I really love. I really love this stuff. Um, and if not, if I'm gonna blow dry it, I use the BB um, Hairdresser's Invisible Oil as a primer. And I want to, the, the hair to dry quickly, so I'm gonna just spray my head with this and do a little blow dry. 
And that is our glow up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I like felt the need to like want to kind of do like a reset for myself and I figured using the glow up opportunity would be amazing. If you guys are feeling stressed or anxious, I highly recommend taking, doesn't need to be a full day, but taking a couple of things just focusing on yourself, right? Color the hair, paint your nails, do your long shower, do your skincare, go to the gym. That was on my list today, but I didn't have time, so I'm probably gonna go tomorrow morning. Um, but just putting focus on yourself um, can really recenter uh, when, when things are feeling like crazy and overwhelming and stressful if you're working seven days a week like I am. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that subscribe button because it really for my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.